Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. Now, this is your regular dose of Royal news and analysis. But before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for always supporting the channel and coming back here for your daily dose of Royal news. Now, it would mean a lot to us guys here at the channel as well if you could subscribe and please hit that notification bell because I really wouldn't like you guys to miss out on any of the royal drama. So we're going to get into it today. Lady Louise Windsor has returned to Scotland to start her second term of studies at the University of St Andrews, where she'll be reportedly required to learn about colonialism and travel. Now, the eldest child of Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex is currently a freshman at the prestigious institution, which is best known amongst royal circles as the meeting place of Prince William and Kate Middleton. She studies English literature, having achieved the high A-level results needed to gain entry into the competitive course back in August. Well done. The 19-year-old enjoyed a break from school last month, reuniting with her parents and brother, Viscount James, at Bagshot Park in Surrey over Christmas. It's also understood she joined the royal family at Sandringham in Norfolk for the holidays. Now, King Charles III and Queen Camilla are currently at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, which is about a two-hour kind of give or take drive from the University of St Andrews. His Majesty and wife left Sandringham for the Highlands in the first week of 2023, deviating from Queen Elizabeth um, tradition of residing at Norfolk Estate until the beginning of Feb. Now, it remains unknown if the King and Queen Consort will see Lady Louise Windsor during their time in Scotland. The royal teenager is now two days into her second term at university, which kicked off on Monday the 16th of January. Now, Lady Louise will be able to choose from a broad selection of modules this spring, including drama, reading and performance, older Scots literature and Shakespeare and race. There is one class, however, that is mandatory for all students in Lady Louise Windsor's year, Empires and Revolutions, according to the course's website. The module introduces a range of works from the period 1680 to 1830 and will look at travel, colonialism and different constructions of man's natural estate in the early 18th century. Students will also learn about the development of these themes into Romanticism's passion for literal and figurative journeys, its revolutionary critique of human enslavement by society and its fascination with the power of nature. Now, when asked about Lady Louise Windsor in June 2020, Sophie Wessex spoke candidly about her wishes for her daughter's future. She's working hard and will do A-levels, the 57-year-old revealed. I hope she goes to university. I wouldn't force her, but if she wants to, she's quite clever. So what do you guys think about the news? Do you think Lady Louise is one of the most important royal futures, uh, important for the royal future monarchy? Do you think that Lady Louise will soon overtake Harry and Andrew's royal role and privilege? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. And until then, guys, have a great day and we'll see you next time.